Hello there, welcome back to another episode of Project Honda Civic SI. Uh, as the title implies, I'm headed back to Button Willow Raceway Park. Uh, and of course, that means waking up at 3.30 in the morning and making the 160 mile drive up to that track. And of course, during that time, I didn't think to film any sort of introduction, so I'm doing it now. Uh, to get you caught up since the last time I was there, I ran a 210.6 lap time, and the car is pretty much stock, other than a set of Federal RSRR tires and the TSX OEM brake upgrade. Since then, I put on the Kony Performance Shocks, had a racing alignment put on the car, uh, also swapped on these new 17x8 wheels, and I also decided to reuse the 215 section with uh, Falcon tires. And so I think it's a great way to kind of segue. Oh, I almost forgot. I swapped out those TSX brakes for the StopTech C43 big brake kit. And now we're gonna do the official first ever track testing of this kit. And hopefully all goes well, as you'll see in the video. session out here at Button Willow. Uh, I thought the track was really slick here. I kept sliding around and sure enough that Z06 looks like they have a big oil spill.
209.1, which is already a one and a half second improvement over the last time I was here, which is great. That's a huge improvement. However, the lap felt kind of dirty to me because I wasn't always quite sure where the tire grip was going to be because those Falcon tires were just so done. All right, guys, second session, uh, kind of a scramble. Didn't have much time between sessions to kind of get uh, cameras set up or anything like that. Kind of had time to kind of set tire pressures, play around with the car and get back out there. Uh, first time out, ran a 209.1, already a decent lap time. Uh, these Falcons are rock hard and are starting to chunk in the front already. They definitely need cool down laps. Uh, definitely not nearly as grippy as the Federals, but work with what we got. I think we can get down to about a 207 today if we really hustle the car and kind of get everything lined up just right. Unfortunately, the second session was a total wash. In between traffic and me making driver mistakes, I kept running several 209 laps. I didn't go any faster. And the third session, things got ugly. I noticed the car starting to get low speed wheel hop coming out of corners, which is odd because this car doesn't really have that much power in the first place. So after a few laps, the car getting really kind of hoppy and shaky. I brought it back into the pits and I found out that I had broken a CV axle. It's actually the same CV axle that I replaced a few episodes ago when I broke the original one taking out the shocks. Long story, I encourage you to go back and watch the episode if you have not already. Turns out that used axle I bought was totally shot and it only lasted about one track day before completely giving out on me. And that ended my track day because of course, no auto parts stores carry Civic Si axles. You need to special order them to the Honda dealership or buy a used one like I did. And that was the end of my track day, unfortunately. I have to say, I am super pleased with how the StopTech C43 big brake kit performed in this car. Uh, no brake fade, no brake issues, no pad knockback despite bouncing over curbs and button willow. I mean, this kit is incredible. It's obviously rather expensive and rather hardcore and extreme. It's definitely meant for more track cars and race cars than street cars, but the efficacy cannot be denied. I mean, I checked the brake pads at the end of the day and after three sessions of me thrashing this car around, the brake pads hadn't even worn down one millimeter of pad material. They basically looked brand new still. And the rotors looked great and everything looked perfect. And I absolutely encourage you to check out that Stop Tech kit for, this, for the HN Civic because wow, coming from even the TSX brake, which still had fade issues, the Stop Tech kit just performed flawlessly on track and gave me so much more confidence behind the wheel. It made me realize I need to put even more wheel and tire under this car because the brakes have that much performance potential. The tires are the biggest thing holding me back in this car, which is a great problem to have. Still, the 209.1 lap time was a great improvement over what the car ran before. I know there's a lot more left in it. So stay tuned for the next episode of Project Civic SI, where I try to go faster and faster and faster and faster and have even more fun with my car. Thank you very much for watching. Bye.